In the following problem, verify that the given functions form a fundamental set of solutions of the differential equation on the indicated interval. Form the general solution. y double prime minus 2y prime plus 5y equals 0. Our solutions are e the x cosine 2x, e the x sine 2x, and the interval is negative infinity through infinity. We need to verify each of the functions. So let's start with e the x sine 2x. So I'll call that f1. f1 prime, and I'm not going to go through the steps involved, I'm just going to write it down. It's 2 e the x cosine of 2x plus e the x sine of 2x. f1 double prime is negative 3 e to the x sine of 2x plus 4 e to the x cosine of 2x. Let's plug that into our equation and make sure that it is a solution. I'm just going to pull e the x out of everything since we know that that's going to be a factor of all three of our terms. So we get negative 3 sine of 2x plus 4 cosine of 2x minus 2 times 2, so minus 4 cosine of 2x minus 2 sine of 2x plus 5 times sine of 2x. We collect our sine terms together, our sine 2x. We get 5 minus 2 minus 3, so 0, plus 4 minus 4 cosine of 2x. So indeed, that equals 0. So that is a verified solution. f2 equals e to the x cosine of 2x. f2 prime, negative 2 e to the x sine of 2x plus e to the x cosine of 2x. f2 double prime equals negative 4 e to the x sine of 2x minus 3e to the x cosine of 2x. Again, we plug that into our differential equation to get minus 4 sine of 2x minus 3 cosine of 2x. Again, we're going to pull an e to the x out of everything, so I'll just write it over here minus 2 times negative 2, so plus 4 sine of 2x, minus 2 cosine of 2x, plus 5 cosine of 2x. Taking our sine terms, our sine 2x terms, we have negative 4 and 4, so 0. We have a 5 cosine of 2x, minus 2, minus 3. So again, we have 0. And that indeed equals zero. So that is also a solution. We have shown that f1 and f2 are solutions. Let's prove that Vronsky and does not equal zero to show that they are linearly independent. So the Vronsky and is given by f1, f2, f1 prime, f2 prime determinant. So that equals e to the x sine of 2x times negative 2 e to the x sine of 2x plus e to the x cosine of 2x 
minus e to the x cosine of 2x multiplied by f1 prime, which is 2e to the x cosine of 2x plus e to the x sine of 2x. Let me pull an e to the uh, 2x out of everything. giving us the minus 2 sine squared 2 x plus sine of 2x cosine of 2x minus 2 cosine squared 2x minus cosine 2x times sine of 2x. Sine squared minus cosine squared always is 1. Sine 2x, cosine 2x, sine 2x, cosine 2x, those add up to 0. So we're just left with 2 e to the 2x, which does not equal 0. So therefore, they are linearly independent. So we can write the general solution to the equation as y equals some constant c1 times e to the x cosine of 2x plus constant 2 times e to the x sine of 2x.